Welcome to our new presentation. Our selected topic for today is blood pressure. In this video, we will answer the below questions. What is hypotension or low blood pressure? What causes low blood pressure? What causes a sudden drop in blood pressure? What are the sign and symptoms of low blood pressure? What are the different types of hypotension or low blood pressure? And what are the treatments for low blood pressure? Welcome once again to our nursing exercise channel. If this is your first time here, we have a YouTube channel that aims to enrich your knowledge about your health, fitness, medication, nutrition, diet, etc. And if it is your plan to update yourself about these important issues for all of the important tips, advice, discussion and presentation, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on our notification bell icon. Let's start our presentation. What is hypotension or low blood pressure? Low blood pressure, also called hypotension, is a reading of less than 90 over 60 millimeters of mercury. Low blood pressure is blood pressure low enough that the flow of blood to the organs of the body is inadequate and symptoms and or signs of low blood flow develop. What causes low blood pressure? The cause of low blood pressure isn't always clear. It may be associated with the following. 1. Pregnancy. 2. Prolonged bed rest. 3. Hormonal problems such as hypothyroidism, parathyroid disease, Addison's disease. 4. Low blood sugar, hypoglycemia. 5. Some over-the-counter medications such as overuse of diuretics drugs for erectile dysfunction. 6. Medicines such as for high blood pressure, depression or Parkinson's disease. 7. Heart failure. 8. Heart arrhythmias, abnormal heart rhythms. 9. Widening, or dilation, of the blood vessels. 10. Heat exhaustion or heat stroke. 11. Liver disease. 12. Strokes. 13. Kidney failure. What causes a sudden drop in blood pressure? Sudden drops in blood pressure can be life-threatening. Causes of this type of hypotension include the following. 1. Major injury or internal bleeding. 2. Low body temperature, hypothermia. 3. Severe infection, septicemia. 4. Heart muscle disease causing heart failure. 5. Severe dehydration from vomiting, severe diarrhea, or fever. 6. Reaction to alcohol and narcotics. 7. Severe allergic reaction called anaphylaxis to foods, certain medications, insect venoms and latex. 8. Strenuous exercise. Symptoms of low blood pressure. Symptoms of low blood pressure or hypotension may include the following. 1. Fainting, syncope. 2. Dizziness. 3. A feeling of lightheadedness. 4. Chest pain. 5. Blurred vision. 6. Increased thirst. 7. Nausea. 8. Feeling weakness. 9. Fatigue. 10. Lack of concentration. 11. Cold, clammy, pale skin. 12. Weak and rapid pulse. 13. Rapid, shallow breathing. Types of hypotension or low blood pressure. Hypotension is divided into several different classifications according to when your blood pressure drops. 1. Orthostatic hypotension. This is a sudden drop in blood pressure when you stand up from a sitting position or after lying down. It is common in people of all ages. Orthostatic hypotension can occur for various reasons including dehydration, prolonged bed rest, pregnancy, diabetes, heart problems, burns, excessive heat, large varicose veins and certain neurological disorders. 2. Postprandial hypotension. This drop in blood pressure occurs 1 to 2 hours after eating. Older adults, especially those with Parkinson's disease, are more likely to develop postprandial hypotension. 
3. Neuromediated low blood pressure from faulty brain signals. This disorder, which causes a blood pressure drop after standing for long periods, mostly affects young adults and children. It seems to occur because of a miscommunication between the heart and the brain. 4. Severe hypotension. Severe hypotension is related to shock. Shock is the most extreme form of hypotension. When a person is in shock blood pressure drops to dangerously low levels, and the brain and organs can't get enough blood to function. Severe hypotension can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. What are the treatments for low blood pressure? For many people chronic low blood pressure can be effectively treated with diet and lifestyle changes. Depending on the cause of your symptoms, your doctor may tell you to increase your blood pressure by making these simple changes. A. Dietary change. It includes the following. 1. Eat a diet higher in salt. 2. Drink lots of non-alcoholic fluids. 3. Limit alcoholic beverages. 4. Drink more fluids during hot weather and stay hydrated. 5. Eat smaller, healthy meals and limit carbohydrates. 6. Rest after eating. 7. Avoid taking drugs to lower blood pressure before meals. B. Lifestyle change. It includes the following. 1. Wear compression stockings. 2. Get up slowly after you've been sitting or lying down. 3. Avoid standing for long periods of time. 4. Sit up and breathe deeply for a few minutes before getting out of bed. 5. Pump your feet and ankles a few times before standing up. 6. Avoid heavy lifting. 7. Avoid straining while on the toilet. 8. Avoid standing still in place for a long period of time. 9. Avoid prolonged exposure to hot water, such as hot showers and spas. C. Medications. Your doctor might prescribe medications like 1. Blood Rocortisone, which increases blood volume. 2. Midadrine, which increases blood pressure. If you have any query, please comment in the comment box and if you enjoy watching our videos please subscribe our channel to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Hit the bell icon twice. Thanks for watching.